The first time I ever went to Southern Nigeria was doing my National Youth Service, NYSE as they call it, but I never got to explore it. In Nigeria, there are multiple states with different cultures and amazing stories, but it seems like the only place anybody and everybody ever talks about is Lagos and Abuja. As much as I live in Lagos, it stresses me out every single time. It's super congested and to live a calm life here is next to impossible. So I set up a challenge for myself, buy a ticket to a state in the southern part of Nigeria and explore it for 4 days. I am on a journey to show you that there is more to discover in the southern part of Nigeria. From probably the most beautiful resort in the country, to some of the best culinary delicacies we have in Nigeria, to the longest sand beach in West Africa, and finally to the young entrepreneurs who are currently changing the game by creating renewable energy for Nigerians. To make this video more exciting, I'm going to be on a budget and I'm going to be sharing how much I have spent on this trip at every point in time. And by the end of this video, we'll figure out if Aquari Bomb is really Nigeria's best kept secret. So let's jump right in. Welcome to Aquari Aquari Bomb is located in southern Nigeria and is bordered by Cross River to the right. It has a lot of culture, of lifestyle. If you check out Aquari Bomb marriages, they are very colorful. It has been said that Aquari Bomb is probably the most peaceful state in Nigeria and it's also home to one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful resort in Nigeria. And it's called Ibom Icom Hotel and Golf Resort. And this is where we decided to stay once we landed in Aquari Bomb. The first thing we did on getting to the resort was checking into our rooms. We were given a room with one of the most amazing views ever. Let me show you what it looks like. This is one of the rooms that has double floors. So there's a floor here as you can see. This is the staircase that leads to the main bedroom. And there's a sitting area here with spots where you can just step outside in the morning and listen to all the birds chirping and dancing and singing hallelujah. And also, this room cost $200, so $130,000. Let's go upstairs, let me show you what is upstairs. Where the magic happens. <laughs> this is the kind of room you should get, so that you know you have more space downstairs and you have space upstairs there. And there's also a nice bathtub that mixes up as a shower there. Multiple space here. If you're coming down here, you should definitely get this room. I tell them, tire sent you. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to eat. I'm not sure yet. Mm, I think I'll go with yam. Full meal. Let's get cracked. How far, bro? I'll do my gym. What's up? What are you having? Guy, moi moi, I want to go collect the pump. I thought you were eating something fresher as a fresh guy. What do you mean by fresh? Oh, is this not fresh? Do you know what this is made of? What is it made of? Yeah, this is beans. You know what beans is? So Aquari Bomb is one of the coolest places to be in Nigeria. A couple of reasons, or I think the most obvious reason is safety. We don't have any stigma and rest in Aquari Bomb State. The people are very nice and accommodating. We have lots of natural attractions in Aquari Bomb State. You know, a lot of tourism potential. Potential because it's still untapped yet. Aquari Bomb has one of the richest set of meals in Nigeria. Meats, vegetable oil, palm oil is our thing. For instance, we have afang soup, which is popular, but you have to eat it here to actually appreciate it. The head, when eating outside, most of the time they just do one kind, one kind. Are we going to try it out soon? Oh, definitely, yes. We definitely have to. So I would always definitely recommend somebody coming to Nigeria for the first time, definitely have to come to Kabul State. Yeah, I'm headed to the gym. As much as we like traveling, health is wealth. That is one of the best ways to start your day. All that whole stress, the stress of liquor, you let it go out of the system. <laughs> Round two. Uh, this is a cool gym. The one thing I like about it is that you get a really nice view of the pool, which we're still going to go and dive into very soon. But let's lift weights. Whew. You try something bigger, let's try something heavier. Yeah. 
Okay, this is heavy. <laughs> Now after being at the gym, it's time to jump into the pool. Guys, check out this pool. See how massive this pool is. Thank God I know how to swim now, so I can show you guys some of my skills that I've learned over the past couple months. One of the good things I love about being a creator is getting to experience amazing places like this. And I'm thankful to all of you guys who subscribe and watch the channel. And I hope you guys are getting inspired to, you know, leave your comfort zone and go out there and explore what is around you in your environment. Like this is in Nigeria. You know, lots of people are always saying, oh, there's no place to go to in Nigeria. This is one of the places you can go to to experience. You don't always have to travel out of the country. Traveling out of the country is nice, but there are places you can go for holidays in Nigeria. There are places you can experience and there are places you can explore. I have a mission to explore all the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria and show you all the awesomeness that each geopolitical zone has to offer. So I want you guys to follow me along on this new series on the channel. And now I feel really healthy already. So now going on to the next task which is either playing golf or going to the marina. They have this really beautiful place facing a lake. So I want to go there and see some of the activities that they have there. something called anybody and for everybody when you're coming here you're not just coming to another place you're coming to a place full of class so you can have class at not a not pocketeering a pop price. price so this is, where, where are we now we so this is the golf club the golf club <laughs> which side is it this side of it <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> About normally. Hi guys. Ah! I know I can't do this. <laughs> Get in there! quite some times now, up to two years. My friends inspired me to come here. Before I came here, I used to have a high BP, you know, pens here and there. But I can tell you that ever since I came here, I don't even remember when I took the BP truck. And it has been very interesting. That's the truth. I encourage my friends and well wishers to come and join us. What would you say to people in Lagos and other parts of the country? What would you tell them about Akwa Ibom? Yeah, apart from the variety of very good food that we have down here, yeah. we have wonderful, peaceful people. We have lovely guys. I mean, of course, you know, we have beautiful girls around here. Akwa Ibom girls are the best for, like, in terms of white material. Are you married? I'm not. Okay. I'm yeah. single and sister. Okay. They are coming for you. Don't worry. They are coming for you. I'll put your Instagram in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put your Instagram in the description below. Apart from all that, in the country, there is no golf course like this. And it comes with a resort. I wish to uh, let them know, take a trip to you. This is the only state with a state airline. You fly in and have your lodge, stay in the hotel, come out and play the golf. You sit at the marina, look over the waters. Natural scene. Come to Akwaibu. <laughs> <laughs>
We're here at the marina. It's a blend of the old and the new. It's more of sports here. From the tennis court, and you get inside there, you see the game room. We have tennis, we have pool, we have uh, what they call football, we have the chairs there. We have all of those things here. I think another feature yeah. that I didn't even know existed here is the lake or is this a river? It's a river. It's a, this is a full it's river. beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> they, they call it the Ikwa River. Ikwa River. Yeah, basically that's that's the that's marina side of things. Here. Nice. It's a lot of fun here. So guys, as you can see, I've shown you so many things that you probably would not have known existed in Aquaribum State and that's why I came down here, you know. Sometimes if you don't leave your house and come out, you won't even know that there are things in this country like this. This Bombay, how much is it? One Toast to the good life. Cheers, man. But <laughs> well, this thing has gone to the water. Because it's done plenty. And yeah, now I go drink and shop shop. Uh -huh. Oh, don't finish now. So we want to jump on this boat right now because we want to experience it. So we came to like this local settlement. I think what they're doing here is they have a, it's like a sawmill. So they cut down logs of wood and I think they're using it for construction. Yeah, you enter now? Now you're going to sit here. Now you're going to sit. So guys, this is Mr. Prince and this is Bassi. And they are children swimming in the water. <laughs> Ah, it's a nice picture. Of course. Oh no. We are adventure junkies, so we have to, you know, we have to experience everything in full, in full color, so that you guys can know if you're coming down here, you know what to experience. This is like probably my new holiday spot if I'm coming to the south south. What do you think about this place as a holiday spot? No more, it's nice now. Look like get house for you. I mean, just come yeah, once in a while, just come yeah, chill. Yeah. No disturbance. No disturbance, no stress. Oh, and the people and are also very hospitable. And it's cheap to live here. You know? Yeah, it's cheap. Oh. Oh, yeah, we know they move now. Ah, they move now. I want to turn the boats now. I know they stress me. Ah. You can take a boat from here to Cameroon. And you can also take a boat from here to Cross River. And you can take a boat from here to River State. Oh, you guys are swimming inside the water. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was a dope experience. It was hot though, but it was nice. How are you? Hey, my bro. But the weather hot. <laughs> <laughs> We just came out from the mine now. We just want to cycle. I'm really sweaty right now. But well, let's go. Let me show you how it's done. Riding a bicycle with one hand. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Now, check out these trees. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> For me, I had an awesome experience at the Ebom Icon Golf Resort. Leaving Lagos to go down here and experience it was really amazing. This is one of the places that people can travel to and have a great experience without spending so much money. One of the cool things about Aqua Ebom is that it's the only state in Nigeria at this moment that has its own airline, Ebom Air, which is really remarkable and also commendable to Aqua Ebom government. In the next video, we're going to be exploring the city, the culture, the lifestyle of Uyo. We're going to be going to town and trying out all some delicacies like afang soup and edikai kong we are also going to be exploring more of the city and seeing some of the activities that we can get up to if we're living down here so you guys should share your thoughts what do you think about ibom icon golf resort what do you think about the experience is this something that you definitely be interested in also what do you think about the cost do you think it's worth the amount we spent in this video as always if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one peace